without there being a survival situation, just shooting innocent animals just for a steak, then I'm not M safe. Maybe it'll make, it'll make me sound terrible, but I probably could. Well, it does make you sound terrible. It makes you sound heartless, to be honest. Yeah, we can. Do you want to do it out? How long are going to be here for? 10 minutes. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Come, 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 come on. Come away here. I've got that like 1% battery. Okay, come on, quick, quick, quick. Oh, I think you're seeing some more friends later today. Oh, really? No, we can have a picture with your phone. Oh, nice. Just because uh, I've got a, I want to. Sorry, man. I, I want to terrorise everyone over here. On the... I've seen you on TV all the time. I follow you on YouTube. Cheers, brother. Awesome, man. Good luck. What's your name again? Adam. 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 Nice to meet you. Right? <laughs> oh, you're not a vegan. You're not a vegan. You're the reason we're doing this yes. outreach. What's going on? Come on, bro. What are you doing? Uh, we're, we're out here speaking up for them, and you're out here paying for them to be in the slaughterhouse. Uh, as I was saying, like, I'm just on a different sort of moral scale to you guys. Uh, just How? got different beliefs, unfortunately. Like, what, what's your belief system? Um, as I was mentioning earlier, I kind of don't believe animals can be innocent or guilty. I just kind of think they're animals. And I, I know, like, as I mentioned earlier, I think it's necessary, not biologically or DNA, but just like learning how to make a fire or or going to school. I think like that's something a necessary. You think skill. this is necessary? Yeah. For what reason? Um, as I said, if, if shops were to for close, nutrition or for, no, no, they're no, not, they're not, not for nutrition. Shops aren't closed. No, but you never know. Like no, no, no. Now, like, why is it necessary uh, for you now? The same reason to like learn how to, to make a fire or, or be outside. You don't need that now because we've got the technology. Okay. So that do. we don't need slaves anymore. We don't need. You know, people doing our work for us. We don't need animals to be butchered and stabbed and enslaved either. We've got shops, we can buy plant foods. How do we justify it? I don't think shops will always be open though. But they are now. They are now. So how do you justify it now? Um, that's a good question. Yeah, I don't care about hypotheticals. I'm talking about right here, right now in Melbourne. Why can't you be vegan? Uh, part, I guess it's, it's a bit of a cop out, but I, I guess I, I just, not, a, not like, but yeah, I just think it's- You like the taste? Just be honest. Let's be honest with each other. You, you know, it's not about making a fire or it's a necessity, it's because you like the taste, you don't want to change, or something's holding you back from changing. But you agree that it's cruel. I don't... You don't think animals have value? Oh, not, not, to the, not to the same extent that humans do, no. Well, I didn't, I didn't say that. I said, do you have it, though they feel pain and suffer, you agree? Yes. Okay. So why should we cause pain and suffering and, or take their lives from them? If they have any type of value, why don't we just leave them be? Um, I think they could benefit us. <laughs> this, this is why so you stab them for your benefit, like, but you only like the taste. There's not really that much of a benefit other than taste. Man, you got me in like a, a moral conundrum here. This, to be wait, fair, wait. that's why I enjoy watching your content. So you know, um, like, say uh, someone was born with a uh, mental disability, right? Yes. You might say that they don't have the same intelligent capacity yeah. as you, right? So you might, they might not even suffer the, to the same depths as you, because yeah. you can see far. So do you think they, like, we can just do what we want to them, because they don't, you know, live up to your, um, you know, stature of moral value? Um, I, I guess because they're human, I, I'd have that same sort of connection. I know you said it was a little bit different when I mentioned to yourself earlier. But just like I'm, I'm pro-choice, and I think like that's like a harder moral decision than drinking yeah, milk. Pro-choice? So Wait a second, you're taking yeah. someone's rights away. You think we should have the choice to take someone's rights away? Pro-choice for slavery? Not pro slavery, no. Well, that's well, that's a choice. Slavery is a choice. Enslaving someone's a choice. So you're either pro-choice across the board, or you're selecting who you're pro-choice to abuse and kill is. I guess I'm selecting the animals there yeah. in that case. Yeah. Put yourself in the pig's position, gas chamber, stabbed in the throat. And I say I like the taste. I don't, I don't know why, but I just don't, em I don't have that same sort of connection. You don't have to empathise too much with them. You could just say, hey, is this right or is it wrong? But w when I'm fishing or doing anything like that, I don't feel like it's wrong. Yeah. But stick a hook in a dog's throat, do you think that's wrong? I, like even with dogs, I still don't have that Stick connection. a hook in, hook in a kid's throat, you think that's wrong? A child, human. Yeah. I think with humans, it's completely different. Human supremacy, have you ever heard of that? Um, you was mentioning it earlier with uh, You think, we, human beings think we're better than every other animal, so we can do what we want to them? Not, not necessarily better, um, but just look out for each other, I guess. We can look out for each other and still not stab animals in the neck. Like, it's, being vegan is, is a non-action. You're just not doing something evil. Yeah. Like, I'm not asking you to do something over the top. I'm just asking you not uh, put these animals in these places. Yeah. 
I see you saying. It's like a non-action, it's like non neutral. And then I'm the carnist. Yeah. If you were to see a baby lamb caught in a wire fence, what's your first reaction? Uh, to help it, I guess. Exactly. That's actually a really good point. If I had a lamb here cutting their head off slowly, you'd probably be like, hey, Joey, hey, I don't do care about animals, but stop doing that, hey? It depends on the context. Like, if we was in a kitchen or something like that, I'd have no qualms with it. Me torturing an animal for you to eat? I wouldn't call it torturing. I think that's the, the difference between myself okay. and yourself. Like, I'd, so if I don't torture someone, it doesn't matter if I cut their head like off or not? For me, torture would be doing it on the basis to inflict pain with longevity. Whereas like, if you just do it for the food, I, I wouldn't personally perceive that so as torture. If, as long as you justify it with eating them, you can do basically anything you want to the animal with, it, it, without torture. So just enslaving them, breeding, forcibly breeding them, keeping them in factories, cutting their head off. With, with animals, I don't think they can be employed or slaves. I, I don't really think they can be slaves. Why not? I don't think it's possible. Why not? Do they desire freedom? I don't think they have they don't? desires. They don't have desires. Well, I think that, like, instinctually, they've got instincts, absolutely. But I don't think they, they want to retire So if I or... cage an animal and burn them with a cigarette lighter, do you think they have a desire for me to stop? Feeling pain? I, yeah, I guess so. But uh, like a so... cow on, on a dairy farm or something like that, I don't know that it knows it's in prison. I don't know it knows it there's does, something beyond the wall. Well, well, I don't know that you're a sentient being until you tell me. So what, what traits could a cow display to show that they're suffering? I mean, they could limp, they could pine for their young. I guess, try, what would it take try, for you? Try and escape. Well, well, well I think if you try to stab a cow or shoot them in the head, they try to move. No, but I mean, when they're just roaming around the farm and stuff like that. Put, well, put these animals in a, in a knock box, right? And they try to escape the knock box. I don't, yeah, I guess with a knock box, with factory farming, I guess you probably hear it quite No, I'm not lot. talking about factories. I'm talking about slaughterhouses where they all go. Slaughterhouses. Yeah. yeah, they'll definitely fight that. They don't want to be in the slaughterhouse, do they? Probably not, no. That's right. Mm. But, I, I, again... Which... Oh, sorry, go, no, go ahead. No, sorry. No, I was just going to say, like, you're standing here arguing, arguing to me for slaughterhouses to exist. For the, uh, the reason why I'm not necessarily... I understand is they're morally questionable. The reason why I kind of accept it is because it provides cheap food for people. But plants are also a cheap source of food and we can't like, justify this horrific holocaust of sentient beings when we have all these other alternatives. Chuck you out in the jungle when you're trying to survive and you do what you've got to do to survive. Maybe I wouldn't be standing here arguing with you, but like, you know, we've got vegan options and, you know, technology and plant agriculture. And if, if I was to like uh, turn away uh, from like factory farms to that, would, would fishing still be fine? Why would you, like, I want to know, why would you drag a fish out the ocean and suffocate and stab them and kill them when you have a vegan burger? As I say, it, I think that it's, firstly, fishing would be a valuable skill as well, how to bring food home, um, as well as, you know, the taste stereotypically as well. And you know, we've got seven billion people on the planet. One of the most consumed fish, or I think it's wild caught and farmed fish are about half and half. There's about 2.7 trillion marine animals dragged out the ocean every year. Like, why? Because with the fishing comes the bycatch, the dolphins and the sharks and the turtles. They're the yeah. innocent ones that get dragged out. I don't yeah, know. I think I'd much prefer line fishing as opposed to... Do you to only it. eat fish and all the other animals you don't eat, like gas-chambered pigs? I think I, yeah. I recycle what diet I'm on. Like, I've done like three months where I've done pescatarian. Yeah. Like, I kind of mix it up, but it depends like how active I am with health at the particular time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you can justify to yourself this type of violence, and you, you're okay in, your, in yourself to live with that. Like, I'm not okay with it. Like, I think yeah. it's evil. I think anyone who knowingly contributes to this has got um, conscience issues. Like, I really do. I, I, I can't um, watch that, eat a piece of their body, an animal who's suffering in a... Look at this. Begging for their lives. Yeah. Animals begging for their lives, and you're telling me that they don't feel that? Come on, man. Like, they're babies. They're babies. But, but no one can force you to do anything. But, yeah. like, if you can live with that, if you could shoot an animal in the head like that, without there being a survival situation, just shooting innocent animals just for a steak, then I'm not M safe. Maybe it'll make me sound terrible, but I probably could. Well, it does make you sound terrible. It makes you sound heartless, to be honest, because if you can reach for a vegan burger right there, and that is the, the, um, that's the result of the non-vegan burger, and you still would choose a non-vegan burger when you have all these options. 
Yeah. It's a factory farming, again, like that. That is awful. But I mean, it's not. That's not factory farming. That's a slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. Yeah. But like, if I was to go fishing at the weekend, like I don't morally feel that. You got to get the fishing. What's wrong? Right? We're talking about this animal factory farms mm. and slaughterhouses. I think what why the, the factory farm for that's me fishing, as well yeah. feels terrible is because like they're trapped their entire life. Whereas if they were roaming free, like I'd feel. But they're still in a slaughterhouse. Mm. Wait a second. They, they why would you up. feel better if they got freedom? Because uh, they they've made this sort of whole lot. They've been yeah. So you agree that they can be slaves if they desire? You just said to me before that they, do, they don't. How do you know they desire freedom? I don't think animals desire freedom, but you'd feel more comfortable if they were free. Yeah. So you've contradicted yourself there. Like animals can't be slaves, but they desire freedom. With the with the freedom aspect of it, that they'd, they'd be able to. I feel like it'd be a lot more of a natural process. Um, I, I feel like it wouldn't be like GMO. Uh, they, they, they wouldn't be eating all that crap, injecting it. Like that's why I'd much prefer or feel healthier just having okay. an animal and then killing it myself. As opposed to that, don't get me wrong. I do eat from there. That's for, for cost reasons. If if I had sort of the, the opportunity to eat how I'd want, I'd want to eat everything organic, everything natural. I wouldn't want to uh, eat from there, but for cost reasons, unfortunately, I do. Yeah. You know, veganism's got nothing to do with health. It's all to, to do with the ethics of exploiting animals when we don't yeah. need to. Yeah. Okay. Um. Eth yeah. I, yeah. Ethically speaking. I just, yeah, I've just got different morals, unfortunately. Yeah, do you agree that humans deserve rights to be, you know, to, to not be enslaved and killed and, like, just basic fundamental rights of... Do you, um, yeah, I guess so. You guess so? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, the, the reason I say I, I guess so is, like, at any point, society can turn and go, you know, a bit crazy. I hope that that's... Survival mode. That's adhered to, you know. Yeah. Um, we're fortunate enough to live in a society where, like, I, I walk down the street feeling pretty comfortable and relaxed. Um, not, not looking over so you've never been a, have you ever been a true victim of violence yes uh, yeah, have you been held hostage kidnapped gun to your head uh, not hostage but I've been bashed a few times been bashed yeah how did it feel being having no power over those people uh, not, not the best yeah not the best I know what it's like too and this is what we do to these animals every day they can't they don't have anyone speaking for them only us well we, we're speaking for them they yeah. can't speak for themselves and like people like the taste, so they go through this horrific life of misery and murder for a burger, you know? And people like this calling stuff out to people who are trying to speak out for him. That's a bit unreasonable. Do you think that man's ever been put in a gas chamber and begged for his life? I don't think he knows what it's like. No, no. I think what his behavior there is a bit unreasonable. But I love the fact that you guys come down here, have a chat with people. Um, like your activism is fantastic. Just unfortunately, I'm on the other side of the fence. Yeah. Like the way you, you approach really well, you, you're making me think quite a bit. Like a couple of things you've said, uh, this is why I think like you're so popular. Like you very, articulate yourself very well. Yeah. It's not a hard topic to debate for me. It's really simple for me. It's really like, like you're making a choice to be cruel when you eat these products, man. You're, yeah. make, you're making a conscious choice to deliberately be cruel. When, when, like, uh, I'm not too sure if, if it said on, on the paper you gave me, but when you said uh, milk is murder, yeah. With the word murder, I'd also associate that with like human beings. Like, if you would associate it with human beings, it's yeah, not well, the only definition of the word. I'm not, not, I'm not like playing like a definition game or semantics like that. game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't mean it like that. But like, for example, if someone murdered someone or. If murder took place, I'd want the murderer to put, be put in jail. Me too. Whereas, whereas, like, with this, I wouldn't want anyone to be put in jail. If like, someone tortured and killed your dog, I'd want them to be punished. A torture? That, that, I'd say, again, you're not going to like this, but because it's my dog, I'd want them to be put in because I've got that ownership on it because they've done that with my property on that basis then I'd want them to face legal repercussions for, for property damage not because the, the dog deserves any type of right to their own yes okay like if, if someone was hunting in the wild I wouldn't want them to face like, or when I'm going fishing with the family I don't foresee myself to get jail time for that what I feel like is it's a lot harder for people to put themselves in the victim's position if they've never been truly victimised. Uh, some people can, like some people have empathy, some people just don't. Mm. You don't really need it to just look at that and go, wait a second, in your mind, logically, without no emotion, yeah. just go, is this justified? Am I, am I really choosing to be cruel or, you know, like if you can justify it in your mind, I, mean, I don't know, like play the mental gymnastics and 
for me, it's really simple, man. It's not a, it's not a difficult topic full of nuance. It's really... With the, the mental gymnastics, like the, the way I kind of justify it, like, um, I don't know if you know, like backpackers in Australia, we've got to do like a lot of farm work. Mm. Um, I'm not like putting backpackers in any position with the, the animals and so forth. But the sort of conditions that are required to mass produce anything are horrific. And I think the calculation that I'll do is when something's done in mass, it's a lot cheaper and then it'll benefit the masses. In order for like, the vegetables to be given to us, I get it. A, lot of, a lot of people don't have toilets and there's tampons and pee put all over the sort of food, like even for the phones and so forth. But then it does provide a cheap uh, product for millions of people. And then in my mind, I'm like, that it almost seems like reasonable in my head. So obviously slavery yeah. would make products a lot more cheaper. You wouldn't have to pay anyone. Yeah. But Is that justified then? No, uh, the, the reason... So there's a line, isn't there? There's a line. Yeah, definitely there's a line. There's a line. And, and for me, this, this is the line. When you take people's rights completely away, chuck them in a gas chamber and bolt gun them in the skull to make things cheaper. I mean, you can make corn cheaper, you can make yeah. wheat cheaper. I guess my, my line is more that they're human beings. Yeah, yeah but that's, that means, what does that mean? The different species, it's just like... Dogs matter more than pigs, humans matter more than dogs. Like you can find uh, the children with the same sentient capacity as a pig. You know, you can find full grown adults with the same sentient capacity as a cow or a chicken, but we look after them. We don't rob them of their rights. Would you just, how much sentience would you place, as I mentioned earlier, of yourself, with the clam? Like, uh, oh, I mean, let's just start with a cow. Do you okay. eat burgers? I eat burgers. I eat okay, so we're not going to go to a clam if you're still stabbing a cow in the throat. Okay. Why would you go to a clam? Let's go to bacteria. No, you're still stabbing a cow in the throat. The, the, the reason I, I mention that is because from my understanding, I don't know, vegans can be different and have yeah. different perspectives. I'm just curious what your perspective would be because they don't have like a, a lot of the stuff that you've mentioned to me with the nervous system, the yeah. brain and stuff like that. Know, there's a, a, an, an animal that doesn't have that. So well, why do, I, well, they have nerve ganglia, I think the beginnings of nerve ganglia, but why would I have that discussion with you if you're still stabbing cows in the throat? I mean, it's a really unproductive discussion. Like, if you were just vegan except for clams, we could have that discussion. Okay. But you're not. Point. You're still, oh, yeah, you're still oh, yeah. causing all of this. So let's, oh, yeah. let's go cows, pigs, lambs, chickens, fish. But, you know, uh, then we can go down to but corns early, and... Earlier you kind of mentioned, like, all the animals are on a same sort of value. I don't think I said that. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. I, I said they have to... I said they, they deserve fundamental okay. rights. I didn't I say, like, you're as smart as a chicken or, like... Yeah. Obviously, there's differences between us in intelligence and looks and, you know... Yeah. But like to deserve fundamental rights, which is like the right to freedom and not to be abused and enslaved. I mean, look, look, we give that to babies and infants and even dogs. Like we're starting to, you know, agree they don't deserve to be tortured or killed. Like we've got the RSPCA protecting dogs. Just have a massive double standard when it comes to these now, animals. With the double standard, I 100% um, agree. There's a double standard. People will go to China and protest them eating dogs whilst have a, a steak in their mouth. I completely agree there is a double standard. Yeah. Um, I personally wouldn't have that double standard. Well, you do. You just oh, have it with humans and animals. Okay, yeah. Fair. Yeah, you do. In that case, um, yeah. Yeah. But you think you're a human supremacist. Do you think that anyone below us, in your mind, deserves or doesn't deserve any rights? With the, the below, even I, I don't think consuming something necessarily makes it below yourself either. Like when things are consumed, like we're all part of the same ecosystem. Well, you're treating them like shit. We're treating them like shit. We're actually turning them into shit. You're eating them and turning them and shitting them down in the toilet. Sentient beings who had the capacity to feel love and have their families separated and feel pain and they want to live. We're turning them into shit. It's opposite. The man has that dominance, has to be dominant over something. It was black slaves, it was the Nazis, whatever it is now, it's the animal holocaust. They have to be dominating over something that's weaker. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there was there was human-on-human human stuff going on too, not too long ago. I mean, they had this probably a similar mentality to you. Oh, they're here for us, it's benefiting us, it's good for it's cheaper, you know, or, or, or they're weaker than us, or whatever it is. Or they're not smart like us. Whatever we used to, excuse we used to use to enslave and kill each yeah. other, we use that with animals now. Yeah. I think with, um, when an animal consumes another animal, I don't think that is saying I'm above or below or anything like that. It is consuming an animal, we're yeah. all part of the same. I mean, life. most animals are herbivores, so most animals don't consume other animals, I and mean, we 75% are herbivores. Like, why would we copy the, the behavior of other animals in the environment if we don't need to? Like, we don't have to go and kill each other and eat each other, or we don't need to kill animals anymore, dude. Like, it's a really unjustified act. Like, especially this, like, the whole population, we need factories to feed the population. 
I guess you'll say that there's a, a victim involved, but like, I don't think the majority of the things we, we require are necessary from watching TV and stuff, and you could argue that they're negative for the environment. <laughs> uh, this has got nothing to do with the environment. This has got everything to do with the rights of uh, sentient animals that we're murdering. Um, let's not get it into an environmental argument, which we could talk about the environment. It's yeah. separate to veganism. Veganism is about animal exploitation. Yeah. Like, if someone was being exploited and killed for that TV, and you come to me and said, hey, Joey, I heard that whatever that brand is, is exploiting and killing people and turning them into bacon. Let's talk about this topic. Yeah. I'd be like, hell yeah. But you've got every single right to live in this world without being enslaved, in the Western world without being enslaved and killed. That's fair. This is legal here. I'd get arrested for saving these animals here. I think with, with, so right now, for example, with snake venom, I think there's so many things that could long-term help human beings potential cure for cancer and all these sort of things. I think animals can definitely help us with it. How does that justify eating a burger, which you have no necessity for in any way, shape or form? You're not dying of a snake bite. You're not dying of cancer right now. You're eating a burger because you want to, because you like no, the taste. Absolutely, but yeah. I'm more saying um, in terms of the benefit that we can uh, take from animals. Like, well, I could do the same excuse to take benefit from other humans too. It's not justified. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It doesn't justify it. Like, I know it's easy to go out into these grey areas, clams and, you know, uh, what snake venom and all that, but I want to talk about the burger first, yeah. you know, like, you really have no reason to be doing that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely a strong point. Yeah. There's no argument against it. There's no valid argument against veganism. There's nothing. There's, the, there's that, that, that B12 nothing. thing that we kind of mentioned earlier. Yeah, that's just a minority. Don't have to and enslave and anyone and stab them to, in the throat to get the yeah. nutrients out of their blood. Just sort of just trying to find little things to. Oh, absolutely! I'm, I'm definitely chlorine. Like my, my love for it is, is so strong. I d I'm probably I'm definitely chlorine. Yeah, you got it. You know, you like you love the taste that much, and it's might, it might be part of your habit. Like, you, I mean, it might be a bit daunting to change, make it such a big lifestyle change. But at, what what I would if someone's not willing to change, like what I at least think is honourable is they admit that it's cruel and unnecessary, but they can't be fucked changing. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that's what I respect. But when someone tries to claw at all these justifications for something that's obviously so, it's evil. You know, that's when I'll start to lose respect for someone. You know that's what I mean? Fair. I Because I, I, th I think there were some sort of things I'll be like, that's a hundred percent morally wrong. But I do, as I say, although we could argue like I'm clawing with this and that, I do think there's what are those some things? benefits. What are those with, things? With animals. There's benefits to raping a woman too. I, I ejaculate I and I get I get that. pleasure. Well, there is. There's a pleasure from raping a woman. I don't think it's justified in any way. Uh, I think they should be imprisoned and castrated rapists. You know what I mean? Like, of course we could talk about benefits to doing things, but is it justified when there's a victim involved, you know? Sure, there's B12 in your blood. I could get that B12 out of your blood and, you know... It, with humans eating other humans, like, you become sick from that. Like, I don't... I don't Probably not, a, not any more sick than the animals. It's, a, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not the issue, though. It's about a rights violation. That's what I'm talking about, you know okay, what I mean? That's fair. Not about a health thing or environment thing. I'm just talking about animal rights being taken away, exploited, they're being killed. They don't even have rights. Not even recognised as victims. Another valid point. Uh, are you get again? I guess you're gonna say this is like chlorine again. Yeah, you're looking for grey areas. <laughs> Throw them at me. I'll just get you straight back on the burger. Yeah. Oh, with the burger, I'll have a long hard think about it. I, I, I just want to be honest. I don't think I'd ever change to be honest. But there's always time. You know, a lot of my friends are vegan. As I said, um, I, I, my friend mentioned they're gonna be meeting you later, uh, Denny. Oh, okay. I think you're gonna be meet, meeting her okay. later today or tomorrow. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Ah. Oh. You should come to the gas chamber with us tomorrow. I've got a flight today, that's why I'm uh, kind of like checking, checking okay. my, my clock a bit. Um, It'd be I've cool to take you to the gas chamber in um, the vigil. Diamond Valley. Yeah, there's a vigil tomorrow in Diamond Valley. Yeah, unfortunately, she, she did invite me to, to uh, come uh, give it a go, but I've got a flight, flight today to New Zealand, unfortunately. Wait a second, you're not, you're not her boyfriend? No, no, her uh, boyfriend's Andy uh, from okay. Newcastle. You'll see him later. <laughs> Small world. It's been a good conversation, good. I, mate. I do follow you on YouTube, man. I love your content, man. I appreciate this conversation because um, it's given me a good uh, platform to just to to attack these arguments really solidly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm very fixed in this position, and it's you know, like I'm seeing you go out, reaching out here and there, and it's good yeah. to stay fixed on the topic. Hundred percent. If you can justify eating a uh, you know murdered animal to me in a burger when you've got another option there, right there, then. 
email me and we'll talk about it. 100%. Huh? <laughs> well, yeah, as I say, nah, you're fantastic what you do. Thanks, really brother. do appreciate it. Really Good calm. talking to you, mate. Uh, don't be deterred by the people shouting out. And it was lovely to meet you as well. I'll definitely have a little watch as well. Take Have care, brother. Have a good flight. See you, mate. Well, I think um, this was a very good example of what not pandering can do. Like it doesn't. Like obviously, I wasn't as you know, quote unquote, polite as I'm, some people want you to be. But I just was direct with him. I didn't um, beat around the bush. I just, I was, I didn't really pander to any of his arguments. I just kept it on point. Didn't let him take it out into the the, the wilderness with all these different grey areas and it was a productive conversation still. Even if he walked away after I said, I think that, that you're a terrible person for watching this and can, like, even if he walked away then, I would still say like, he's going to think about that, you know. I'm not going to say that you're not terrible for watching this and eating them. Literally contributing to something horrific on the screen, I have to say what I feel. So, who knows where that conversation is going to go. You cannot measure where that conversation will go. You can just have the conversation, speak your truth, defend the animals how you would want to be defended and move on to the next person, so.